Hey Judy from Witch Peace Craft, welcome to this week's video promoting fibre arts during May. It's only going to be a short video. One, I am not very well. I have quite a bad um, mouth and throat infection that I've picked up through the workplace. So I may have to pause the video. I will be a little croaky, so I hope you bear with me. So this week I, for promoting fibre hearts, it was highlighted to make flowers or poppies for someone special in your life. So I decided I would make a poppy a day during May, 31 poppies to donate to Ken's Poppy On, a local um, group of ladies, I'm not sure if there's any gentlemen involved, that make poppy and do poppy displays on Remembrance Day, Anzac Day, and they make these special banners that they donate to retired servicemen's leagues, clubs, defence force places. Now on Friday, because today's Sunday, I visited the ladies at their annual meeting where they get together and make a few. And I took along my 14 poppies I have made. Um, and I took a small video that they let me that I'll post at the end so you can check out the ladies and what they're up to and say hello. Um, I can't say that I could put them on the banners like they do. They sew them on, They well, they arrange them artistically, they sew them on. It's shade cloth backed by calico. It's hard on the hands and a lot of work. What I did learn on the day was I have made a couple more poppies because the plan is to make 31. I don't put buttons in mine for Cairns Poppy on. I know through Uwea they have lots of lovely buttons. And for the banners that they give to retired services, leagues, clubs and the Defence Force, they use military, Australian military buttons wherever they can. But they only use them on there because if they put them on public display poppies, they get stolen because they're worth a bit of money and people sell them on Gumtree and eBay and places like that. So that is the poppy design I do. See, that's a different yarn to that one. It's a darker red. That's a brighter red. This is probably a, a pattern from 5,000 Poppies Facebook page, which is an Australian group, which I have probably changed a bit to suit me. But that's some more that I have made. Watching the ladies, because I stayed and we had coffee and they worked away, I, what, I saw the different interpretation of poppies that people make. You'll see a mound of poppies at the end of the table. Knitted and crochet. And I really like the fact that they're all a bit different because when they put the banners together, it gives them a dimensional look and it's quite nice to see. And even the centres of the poppies, some, I just do basic. Some people go to a lot of trouble to make the centres quite... Um, unique and artistically colored. I did learn from Uria, which I didn't know, the buttons traditionally that go in the middle, the black center of a poppy, should be the color sage green. But they use a lot of different colors. But that was the traditionally the poppy, red, black with a sage green button. Uh, what else did I find? I did give Ulya four military buttons, Australian military buttons. Remember I went to the Innisfail antique shop and I said I found something from a friend. Well, I found these four Australian military buttons for Ulya to use at Cairns Poppy on. Apparently they're navy, but they're, they're navy for the navy. They had anchors on and they were from the 1950s, which is probably Second World War, maybe a bit later. So yeah, I hope you stay and watch the whole video and watch the short video of Ken's Poppy on and say hi to the ladies and crack, congratulate them on all the hard work they do because there's only a few of them. So the other thing I'm doing to promote um, fibre arts during May is making flowers. So through the 5,000 Poppies Facebook page, a lady put out a request for poppy shaped like flowers in different colours. I'll have to read this. I'm a bit vague. Um, and in different yarn. She didn't care if they were acrylic or wool. I know Uria likes acrylic for cans poppy on for the ones that go outdoors. So she put out a request for these different coloured flowers shaped like poppies for Emu Plains Public School Art Show. 
and she needs them sent to them before September. Now it's in New South Wales. Um, so I have made, using my scrap yarn, because I haven't really been feeling well and haven't felt like doing much, I have made about 10 flowers so far. Same, same more or less pattern using different coloured yarns. And the other thing I thought I would do, because the plan is to make 31 flowers for May, and at the end of May send them away with, I've put together, and I haven't finished, some scrap yarn they can use, some crochet hooks and there's a set of knitting needles with a wool needle in there. And that will be my gift bag with 31 flowers to send to the Emu Plains Public School of Art to promote fibre art. Now, promoting fibre art was the brainchild of Dana. And Dana was Wanderlust Crochet. Hey, Julie. I love her dog. Um, and she comes up with ideas for each month. And she just blows me away with what she comes up with. I'll put a link to the video for May promoting fiber arts and I highly recommend you join the Facebook page promoting fiber arts. Um, it's nice to see what people do and things they come up with to promote our art of crochet, knitting, cross stitch, whatever you use fiber for, sewing. So that's it for me. I'm going to put links to Ken's Poppy on, 5,000 poppies because they have um, patterns on there. Um, Dana from Dana Wanderlust Crochet, promoting Fiber Hearts on Facebook. There'll be lots of links you can check out. Um, and please consider joining a Promoting Fiber Arts one month and doing the small projects. Thanks to the ladies at Cairns Poppy On for making me feel welcome and showing me what they do and letting me take a bit of a video. And well, that's about it. I'm not feeling that great Sunday afternoon. Um, Reeves and Thing are going to cook a lamb roast so I can sit and rest because it is quite painful. I think I'll go and watch my movie and stitch movie for the letter H, The Hunter. It's filmed in Tasmania, which is quite cold and chilly at the best of times. So maybe I'll make a beanie because I haven't done a beanie this month. So yeah, thank you for watching my yarn adventure this week. Sorry, it's not a huge long video and I'm a bit rough around the edges. Take care and have one crafty day making a flower for someone special in your life during the month of May. Bye for now. There they are, working away. Hello, wave. Say hello. You don't want to. <laughs> They're making them. Look at all those poppies. Who made all of those, will you? Oh, I made all. I think you made one. Did you make it all? Judy made fourteen. So far for the month, the plan is to make. There you go.